welcome in. It's the 2023 media day for the chip. We got no introduction needed. Number one Canes on the right. And we got the number two Trojans on the left. But they got some questions for each other and after their questions. Can you give me a dice? Okay. They got some questions for each other, five a piece, and then we're gonna get into questions from other coaches and other people. Um, they're gonna roll a dice. Higher gets it, gets to ask the first question. Choice. Choice of the first question. Oh, Six. Jeez. Got a match. All right, All right. You, you can ask first, I'll ask last. So Miguel is asking, the Trojans are asking the first question of the day. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I forgot something. Oh, I feel naked here. Oh, and he Ugh. puts on the turnover chain. Got the U on it. <laughs> it's media day, baby. Media day. Let's get out Give me your first question. All right. What do you credit your success to after all these years? Good question. Well, um, I'd have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you know what? Seriously, it's a good question, Braylon. No, 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 I know, I know, I know. That gets her hammering. Um, it's the, uh, I think it's the passion and drive for it, the love of the game. I'm always wanting to improve, always wanting to get better, always um, striving, never being satisfied, wanting to win again, you know, um, and reinventing my play, uh, seeing how you guys are playing. And so, um, and, and just being really, you know, Developed in the game, like so. Uh, I would say my the love for the game actually. To be honest with you, good question. Man. That's a good question. Look at that, it's typed. Typed. Oh, look at this. Even even numbers. Typed. This is your fourth season. You have never made it to the playoffs before. Why do you think you made it this year? Um. This year I kind of came in with a little bit different mentality. I. Uh, I told myself that I wasn't gonna stress stress out every game. I was just gonna come and put my head down and, and not give up. And I think that was the biggest thing is just, I didn't like stress myself out before a game. I tried not to think about it. Like if I watched film or whatever I did, I did it. And then I put it out of my mind. And then I got to the game and I just played. And no matter how hard the game was, no matter what I did, I just kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing. All the way then I never gave up. And that was the one big difference I did this year. Good answer. Good question. Good answer. All right, now you give me the other Second one. Second question. I think this is a fun one. This is not playoff related, but I think this is a fun one. What's your biggest piece of advice to someone just starting out in CTC? Somebody that you know you you got a lot of a lot of years under your belt, so. Um. Be patient. Um, it's a learning process. Um, it's not for everyone. It's a grind. It's tough. Um, you're, you're in your fourth season now. You see what I'm talking about. It's a, uh, it's a commitment. It's a grind. It's tough. It's, you know, you know, people watch and think, oh, you just pick a card and roll. There's a lot of thought involved and a lot of, you got to play 12 different guys and each week and this and this, and sometimes you play outside in weather, but, um, just take your time, be patient, learn the game, start picking up things and then you pick up things from other people and then um, you can uh, then determine how you want to play the game. But uh, be patient. And look, at, I mean, there's guys in the league seven, eight, nine, ten years right now that still have made the championship. You're only in your fourth year making it, so they're... That's crazy. They went home and they kicked their dog. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, so... Good answer. Here's number two. Number two. Question two. Question number two. You always say it's just the first half. It's just the first half, no matter how much you are down. What's your t uh, thought process about that? Um, my thought process behind that is I've just I've watched so many games where people dominate the first half, and then all of a sudden they get to halftime and it's just like a whole different game. Even the even the fourth quarter, like things have changed. Like things people come from behind and just. 
and just like taking the game either by a kick or by you know three touchdowns. But um, I just kind of learned that like the first first half of the game, you kind of like fall into the <coughs> rhythm. You kind of the first quarter, you're trying to figure each other out, trying to figure each other's like defense and offense out, and that's that's always tough because sometimes that meshes and sometimes it doesn't. And then once you get to the second half, you kind of like settle into the rhythm and. It just seems like that's kind of where the game is made, for me, in my opinion. Good. Very good answer. Third question already. We're moving. Here's one. Here's a good question. Make it good. How do you bounce back after a tough start to a season? Wow. Good question. It's a great question. That's a great question. Um, back to uh, like evaluating why um, at this point yeah looking at every game looking at every play um getting back to me because sometimes if i'm losing games or something it, it's probably because i'm going outside or doing something i don't i'm not comfortable like why am i doing this and then it's like getting back to how i play yeah. getting back to basics getting back to kane's football and um again being patient i i believe if you play the game right you play the how it's supposed to be coached, the cream always rises to the top and you just keep, you know, sometimes it's, man, you, you've been playing long enough now, sometimes it's just a play that you couldn't help. It's like they just scored on a 58 yard dive. Like, yeah, you're just like, oh. But, but then again, it happens to everyone. So it's the guys you can, you can keep bouncing back and keep fighting through it to, uh, to get there. But, um, just, I, this, this keep chopping that rock, man. It's hitting the stone, man. It'll break eventually. It's a two-parter. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a tough one. Uh oh. What if he gets the first one wrong? No, I'm just kidding. A, what's the biggest challenge playing the Canes in the championship? And B, what's the biggest concern playing the Canes? Answer question A first. Uh, the biggest challenge playing the Canes in the championship? I haven't played the Canes in the championship, so I have no clue. Uh, well, you play me enough. But I've played him enough. Um, he's tough. He's always tough. <laughs> We've had... This season was weird because this is the first season where the first game I came in and I won by, by, by a bit, but it's usually not that way. So. <laughs> and then we met again. And then we met again. You beat me by quite a bit. So it's... The Kings are... So, yeah, that's my answer to that. There's just... You guys, uh, you guys are tough, tough to beat. What's and then what's my biggest concern playing the Canes? Uh, just experience. Like he's been in the big arena more times than anybody. So for me, it's my first time. It's gonna be a game of just settling into the game and going your first UFC. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. It's gonna be settling into the game and trying to tune everything else out. A lot of people. A lot of people and uh, just playing my game. Like I said. That first half is probably going to be a little tough, but I think if I can settle in and, and push, I mean, at least we can give them a good show, you know? Yeah. All That's right. all I'm here for. <laughs> yeah. Give them a good show. Should, this is a good one. What has been your favorite memory from all your years playing CTC? Wow. I'm good at this question. It's <laughs> get deep. Um, my favorite memory is all the people that have come through, including family, cousins, uncles, um, my dad, um, the uh, the camaraderie, the joy I see that it brings people in. Um, yeah. Like, like we always say, it's like a family. You know, I, that's what I love about the game. It's more of, um, it's bigger than just us playing. It's like we battle, we fight, we, we give it our all. But um, the best memories are the guys, like the love and passion they show. Because without them, there is no CTC. You know, there is no, so. Um, I think you're making Jonathan cry. <laughs> yeah, man, no, no, no. <laughs> but, but above all, my favorite, 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 and I have 14 rings, but my favorite ring is last year, 2022, 
That was a big year for you. Cause the, yeah, because everything that happened before. That was a lot going on, and that ring, all my rings are kind of level. That one's always stands a little higher because of the, um, to get through that, off, off the field issues and stuff, to win that one, that was my favorite. So, um, if I had to sum it up, my best memory of CTC is, it's not an easy question, right? The, 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 the guys. Yeah. No, that makes Me sense. Me and Mike, Uncle Mike played, uh, got 2008 or nine in an overtime championship game. That was incredible. I'd love to see him play. Yeah, so that was... Uh, look, at, look at you, Mike. I'd love to have Mike back. He's, he, he's a competitor. He'd be a tough one. He used so. to bring it for St. Margaret's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'd love to have him back. You're great. Uh, you're a great play caller. What does your game game plan look like for the championship? Uh, that's uh, that's always a tough one. It's not everybody has patterns. Uh, some people do. Some people don't. Some people switch it up. Um, you're a tough one with that. Uh, what's game, your game plan? What's my game plan? Trying to figure out your pattern, which is always a tough one. You're you're interesting because you can. You can come in with a certain strategy, and I could see you switch it, and it's hard. Like some people, like slowly switch it, and you can catch on. Other people are constantly switching it. Some people yeah. are just throwing throwing yeah. curveballs at you. Um, with you, it's always trying trying to play by feeling and not quite getting in your head because you kind of switch it up. But I think with you, it's always like trying to trying to trying to trying to find a little bit of your rhythm and trying to stay, stay in front of it the best you can. Um, right. Like I said, you're tough, you're tough with that. You, you, change, you change up your, your, your plan pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fast. So and I think that's something I've adapted this year from learning from you is just when people think you're, they're like, oh, he always plays this play when he gets into this position, switching that up is, is huge. Like I used to do the same thing and people would call me on it. So, yeah, switching it up and making sure that you're not predictable. Like right, yeah. All we right. got one, the fifth. So what we're going to do is, before we do our last question, whoever league had questions or you. All right. I got a few. Okay. And I'll probably ask one or two of myself. Okay. Uh, this first question is going to be for uh, USC. Uh-oh. Um, <laughs> this is, this is Mike's question. This is the Canes 19th final. This will be your first time playing in front of a crowd. Will the crowd noise be a big factor in the game? Will you be, will you be nervous? Um, I mean, I think I'll definitely be nervous. There's no way around that. Um, I think I'll be able to shut it out and, and just play my game. I think as long as, <clears throat> as long as, you know, the, the, the music's playing and, and the, the game's moving. I think my that's all that's all I can really do. But yeah, it's I'm nervous for sure. <laughs> who wouldn't be? Yeah, who wouldn't be there? For, be who wouldn't be? He, I'm sure Jason was nervous his first his first one. He's he's he can roll into it pretty clutch now. But. The first one was in black and white TV when I it played. Was, it was so far along. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He was back to the antenna TV. <laughs> yeah. You guys were. You guys they were had to buy it. You buy it after VHS. Got like put foil on. <laughs> um, and the next question is for uh, Miami. Uh, will playing in front of a majority pro Trojan crowd affect the way you coach your team? Okay, we know. Hey, hey, yeah. media knows it's gonna be ninety percent Trojan oh, fans God, here. Yeah. So I mean, I have a feeling if you get six yards, the whole place go to erupt. <laughs> if I get a first down, it's gonna sound like this. <laughs> Turn the band off. Oh yeah, they're for they, they should be for you. Come on. Um, no, it's not going to affect me because once I, like, it's this weird thing. Like, once I sit down and, I don't know, you've experienced a playing. Once I sit down in it, I don't know. I feel like I'm just, if I'm playing, like, I'm, I'm in the game now and I'm 60 minutes away from the. You get tunnel vision in the game. From the right yeah, now. Yeah, you're just like, so, like, my game plan is already in preparation and in none of the notes does it say, crowd being on his side so um, <laughs> yeah. if anything if I hit a touchdown or a play God willing that um, affects the crowd to make them quieter I'll be like there you go he's gonna taunt them 
I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm ready to go. Um, questions for both of you. Miguel, you can answer first. Um, has there been any outside factors that has uh, helped you out with your success? Um, People, things. I mean, I get a lot of support at home for it, but uh, you guys are going to, this is going to be against uh, the norm, but this oh. season is the first season I played dry where I didn't drink any beer. Okay. I don't know. Praise the sobriety. That will be cut. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if it has anything, to, anything to do with uh, focus with the with with the success of the season. So what are you saying about me being in nineteen no, rings? Yeah, you can't them. stop. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> some things are different people. Honestly, it came down to superstition. Like I kept winning games, not drinking. Oh, so beer. you're right. And so I, I was just like, I, now yeah, like yeah, yeah. I, I plan on bringing beers, but then I was like, I kept winning that way. So I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drink now. I'm just, I'll bring my. That's why beer. I have the same underwear from the first championship. I'm now in oh, the nineteen. Never so. watched it. A little bit of superstition. <laughs> a little bit of superstition. <laughs> yeah. um, but. It, you know, hey, maybe it worked for me this year. Any uh, guys helping you, like, say, hey, look at this play or do this? No. Oh, wow. I haven't, no, no. Um, other than what we have in the group text, people yeah. are just like, keep it up, whatever, good job, yeah. or, like. Yeah, no one's really helping anyone. Nobody, I, I've never, like, I don't know. Yeah. You guys cheer me, he cheers me on, he says the Mamones are coming. That <laughs> yeah. helps, that helps. That fires me up, if I hear that in the Harry Potter music, I'm good to go. <laughs> <laughs> So I got, or Jason needs to answer. Oh yeah, you got your answer. What was o it? Outside factors, but has there been any outside factors that have motivated you, uh, helped you gain the success to get this far? Well, I want to keep it PG, so. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to go to answer yes. And I guess sometimes in your personal life, things can happen to you and you have a choice to let it crumble you or make you stronger and fight through it. I always choose the, the latter. I think it's a better option. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you just keep pushing. Only choice. And, and like, well, no, there is choices. So I like to, uh, yeah, like that old saying, when it rubber hits the road, let's go. Like, I'm, I'm not going to come too far this way. I can't just fold, you know, so. So, yeah, it's more than a game. I was interested in, because you never been here as your first time. You've been here damn near 20 times, right? <laughs> so I was curious, what is the, is the motivation the same for the both of you? Is it the same thing? I just want the ring. I want to win my legacy, et cetera, et cetera. Or is it different motivations for two different players? You can answer. Um, to be honest, uh... if you win the chip. I, you get on the wall forever. Yeah, yeah. Like your name's There's on not there. a lot of names on there. Like, it, like your 30 years, like your name was cemented as a chip runner. Uh, you know? Honestly, in the past, like I always wanted to win, but like there's losses and I never got into playoffs. And then this season, it was the first season where I was like, all right, like I'm putting it, I'm, somehow like it just kind of started clicking and I was able to put it together. No matter how much the, the point difference was, I was able, always able to like pull ahead and, and stay ahead. And so like, it was just this se this season just seemed possible. Like past seasons, it was just seemed like a feat. And uh, honestly, for me, I'm happy to make it this far, even if I don't win. Like, of course, I want to win. I want the ring, and I want a championship under my belt. But like, just making it this far, like I kept saying all season, I just want to beat Murph because he kicked my ass. <laughs> At this point, like I feel like I beat Murph, I, even yeah. though I didn't physically beat him on the field. Beat I beat him. I beat John? him. Beat Justin in the playoffs. Yeah, I beat him to get here, and that's that's a that's a big. A big win for me just to make it this far. Like I just didn't think it was possible. And once, once that that day, like Jonathan gave me a hug. He's like, "Dude, that was a heck of a Halloween game." And I was just like, Phew. "I was like, Phew. that drive home, you're probably like, just like, what happened?" I was still like, the next day, I was like, "I can't believe I won that game," awesome. and especially against playing like someone like Jonathan. Yeah. Like, uh, so like, no matter what, obviously I want the ring. If I don't win the ring, is it gonna be the end of the world? No. Do I want it? Yes. Will I be more happy if I win it? Absolutely. Um, but either way, now I know it's possible to get here. And that's the biggest thing. That's a good thing. Um, I like you, what you just said that it's possible. Like, that's a message to the whole league. Not just you. Like, yeah. you showed, like in the beginning of the season, you, 
if you had the top pick, you weren't picked to make the championship. Mm -mm. Not even the playoff. Not, not, no disrespect. You just haven't before. Mm -mm. Now, all of a sudden, you got to be respected because you made it. But what I'm saying is you just showed everyone it's possible. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's good for the league, I think. Definitely. I think so, I think so too. I mean, I think every, every single one of those guys, even if they're at the bottom of the, of the list, I mean, generally it doesn't show like their skill because – Every game has a winner and a loser, and some people have rough seasons, but they all play hard. No matter which game you play, generally they're never a blowout. They're always pretty tight. So everybody there has the talent. It's like, yeah, it's very minuscule gaps. Yeah. Like every once in a while you get blown out, and it's... Happens. Happens, but everybody's good enough to make it. Yeah. They just... It's a play here and there, a play there. Exactly. It's one, one little mistake. You... you you know, I don't know. You throw whatever play and you fumble, and then they get the ball yeah. like at the twenty. Yeah, it's football. Yeah, exactly. It's it's football. Um, are you talking about motivation? Like, yeah. Do you think it's different this time? Do you think it's the same? Like, compare it to your fifth championship, your twelfth, your fourth, your sixteenth. Like, you know, the, the appearance. Funny, yeah. The funny part about it, it feels the same. It feels. I'm not like. You're gonna find out, like. This is my 19th doing it, but like that night before, it's tough to sleep. <laughs> there, you got a chip coming, you know. Like, there's you know, and you know, like you've been here for him, party starts filling in, and yeah, yeah, it, it, I know. Like, that's that's <laughs> that's the part I was thinking about the most. I was like, usually I just roll in, you guys are set up, it's usually, and you're putting your two buck bets in. I'm putting my two buck bets in. No, I'm, you're in it now. You're like, I'm like, why I'm walking up to you guys, fist pumping, yeah. good luck, and. Like, I sit here and I watch, and yeah. then when I get thirsty, I go get a beer or whatever. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> There's none of that this time, but... Yeah. No, like, yeah, the, the motivation feels the same, and, like, it brings out the youth in me to, to, to you know, continue, and I want to battle, I want to win. I, um, once that stops, I'm done. Like, once I don't feel that anymore to, to compete or win another ring, um, and it's not even... Ha ha! I want to ring to everyone else. It's 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 like you'll see. If you, it's to yourself. Like I did that. Yeah. That's all. And it's like um, a great accomplishment. And I love the game. I love playing. I love competing. And um, I got respect for you for the game. Like for what you went through to get through here. And you know, like, I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be a hell of a game. Actually, yeah, I got two questions. Though. Okay. One from me. It's going to you. And then I got an outside question. Okay. For Miguel. Um, how hard is it for you to not overlook this type of team since you expected to see me for the fourth time in a row? How can I over not overlook? Let's see. You beat number eight Rutgers, Justin, who's been in the league for 17 years or something. Then you beat number four, John, for Oregon, which is a good team. Then he beat number one, FSU, you, mm -hmm. so to get here, you had to go a long way. Yeah. You, you're a wild card. You had to go through all those people, and they were all ranked and all good players. And um, So if that doesn't open my eyes, I'm an idiot because you won those games. And um, if anything, it makes me get more focused for you to, to make sure – I, hopefully those things don't happen to me what you did because you uh, you came through a hard every, the first one they said oh he you're not going to win that one and then you went to John they're like no you're not going to win that one <laughs> and you went to Jonathan they're like no way there's no way and that's what did. I said yeah. so I was like you know well there it is that's like me you know if you were me you'd be like well wait a minute this guy has <laughs> three things so um yeah, um, I think our styles um, clash. Yeah. I, I think we're, we're kind of how we play. And, and I think it, like, it really makes for an interesting matchup, I think. I think so, too. Yeah. 100%. All right. Last question is from one of my friends. Might, might be a little bit on the Canes media side for this <laughs> question. Uh, he said, what do you think your realistic chances – of actually beating the CTC GOAT in the chip. What are my chances? Realistic chances. Realistic chances? Wow. Well, I, uh, I think I have a good chance. I mean, 
like you said, like every game is different. You never know. Um, it could go either way, you know. I think as long as I mean he's not gonna he's not gonna take his foot off the gas, and neither am I. I think I have a fifty fifty chance. I think so. I I, I may, maybe a little less, maybe sixty forty, but. By the end of conversation, be 80-20. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I already lost. I'm not <laughs> I, I, I honestly think it's it's any person's game right now because you never know, like, you never know. Like, going in and the, and the uh, like, the... But, but it is, I'm just talking, this isn't a game, okay? I just want you to know something. Yeah. This is a the game you never, this is a whole different feeling. Yeah. This isn't us on a Thursday at 4 or 6.30. 6.30, yeah. There's, there's a bunch this of is... I think that's... This that's, is the whole... Shebang. Everyone sees it. I think that's. Every... I think that's the hard part. That's going to be the harder part for me, where you have an advantage, where you're used to that arena and I'm not. Um, but Everyone's still... on every call. Like you're literally sitting this close. Yeah, they're just watching you, and I get that. I, I get mean, that. it's cheering. Yeah, it's. Well, I mean, like that's that's you know, the think... difference. That's the big thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I trust me. I agree. Uh, I think it's like I said. Do. I'm not gonna like take away like you got so many championships and so much more experience than me it's, it's, it's I'm, tough. no I'm it's not, tough to overlook but i'm happy for you to experience it though yeah yeah i'm, I'm excited to be here and what like, do i say every year i, I told everyone I, I hope you all experience that i think yeah. the odds look at the build up to this like it's a whole different thing oh yeah i mean the playoffs, even even play even playoffs are a whole different thing it's like a whole it's like a whole new season yeah i mean so and now here we are for this, so yeah. Wait till you come in. The, the, the lights feel a little brighter. Do the lights feel a little brighter? The eyes feel a little more stingy. Yeah. <laughs> I feel under my microscope. No, I, trust me. That's a, that's a. I think for you, that's a that's a good advantage. I mean, like you you have that calm energy in that in that arena, and I don't yeah. know if I have that or not. Well, here's the thing, though. That could work to your advantage too, like because you don't even know what you're going to, and where I do. So like, yeah. it, it's like I said, it, it calls for an interesting matchup. Oh. Like I'm pretty good at that when we play. Like I just get, I kind of forget you about it. People, Zone, but, yeah, I kind of forgot forget about it. Uh, like I'll laugh. Like Jonathan makes me laugh every time. Yeah, but it's, a, but it's different with 100 people. Yeah, yeah, that's literally. Kind of I'm, ex out. I'm excited in either way. Either way, you're gonna have a great experience. Ex exactly. Either way, even though like I do think he has the advantage going into this arena. 100. percent He's got years of experience. He's done this a million times. Um, yeah, but. Yeah. You're, you're having a Cinderella year too. So. Exactly. Who exactly. knows? It's always so, it's it's anybody's game most of the time. Every play in this game is is is, is magnified though. Exactly. Because this is the last game. This is literally the last game of the season. So every play is magnified. Like if you call this and that happens, it's not like well I have next week. It's magnified. It's, oh yeah. It's it's magnified. It's like the playoffs. Yeah. I just uh, I want to keep it a close game as close game as possible. <laughs> I know. Me too. Question of peace left. Last words. Who has been your toughest opponent over the years and why? That's a good question. Well, over the years, uh, let's go back with that. Let's go back way back. At one point, it was actually Papa when he was young. Because me and him met in like four chips or something. He was tough. Um, when um, Braylon's dad, Uncle Mike, played. When he used to play, um, he was always in the top. We had some tough battles. Um, and then Tim, me and him, Tim be, beat me a few times. He, me and him had some tough game. Um, trying to go through the years. Actually, John Turner has a 50-50. He, he was a tough player. We had tough games. Um, uh, in most recent years since he's joined, Mike, He's me and him would go at it. <laughs> One of your oldest buddies too. I love him, but man, when we played her, let's go, <laughs> big, go baby. <laughs> big games. And then like the last, I mean, probably five, six years, the toughest, toughest of all is like playing Jonathan. Um, he's uh, he's gunning for that spot. I'm trying, man. We just met in the last three championships together, and each one. <laughs> We, at the end, we always figure out is a play here, was a play there. Yeah. This happened, this happened, and um, all the glory and honor go to God. I came out on top. Yeah, like Jonathan's. I really expected I was going to be playing him, 
And then you came in, USC, and bam, took him out. It's Mamoans. <laughs> Held him at the goal line. Yeah. God damn. Fat ass motherfuckers up there, man. So, <laughs> so next year, guaranteed, you're guaranteed number two pick. Guaranteed. Like, if you win, you're one. If you win, you're two. But, like, you're guaranteed. Like, so, I tell you what, you're not going to be picked low next year coming in. No. But that's interesting because... It's different now when it's expected for you to win. Yeah, yeah. See, you, you, you're not going to sneak up on anyone. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for losing. Like, all right. Now they seem to get, they're going to be like, oh, shit. Like, they're not going to be sneaking up anymore. Yeah. Tunnel <laughs> now you're going to have a bullseye on your back. Yeah. <laughs> you, you wouldn't want any, any other way, though. No. Uh, the media is going to step in real quick. Okay. okay. We want a specific answer. Who is the toughest player ever in their years you've been playing that you ever faced? You. We just wanted to hear that. Oh, we just wanted to hear that. <laughs> he was baiting that one. We wanted yeah. to hear that one. He was baiting <laughs> that one. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, that's the truth. I mean, mini, mini, mini canes over here. Yeah, it's been a. Just no, Ma- no Miami. Don't play for Florida team. <laughs> well, it's only room for one. No, I'm just kidding. I gotta get. I gotta move states or something. <laughs> What's this one? Okay. Here we go. There is a major amount of time off from the last playoff game till the championship. Do you feel you will be rusty from the long rest? No, I think it's a, I think it's a, it's a good rest. It's a good, good to like take your mind off all the games because when you're playing week to week, it's sometimes you could be frustrated from from a game that you played before, the week before, or whatever. So I think the rest is nice. It keeps it out of your mind, keeps you fresh, and then when you come into the game, you're 100% focused and ready to go. So the rest you feel has helped you? I think the rest has helped me. It hurts me, I guess. Every time I'm resting, I'm like, oh, my God, I suck now. Yeah, I can't throw the ball. <laughs> yeah. But I think I think the rest is helping. Uh, I think the anticipation make maybe, yeah. maybe a little starts bit. Starts building. Starts building, but... I'm excited. Like I said, I'm excited. 11 days. 11 days. We'll find out. I know. When I asked Jonathan, I was like, what is this thing? Yeah, he texted me a couple days ago. Like, when do I come to play? <laughs> the third? February 3rd. I'm just going to eat some meatballs and play some football. The kickoff Good. is 6.44 p.m. Party starts at 5, so that'll be a hell of a game. If I beat, if I beat the GOAT, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you'd be the first one since when? To actually beat you in the title. Tim was the last one. Been a long time. I mean, I had three shots at you, didn't? Really. Yeah. So. It's been a long time. This is my sixth in a row. So I was 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. Yeah. So. Well, Miguel ends. Oh, uh, here we go. Good. The torch is passed. Get it already. Up. Everyone say Miguel's yes. Yes. Come on. Get me fired up for it. Get him by, get him by, don't, don't give him any fuel. <laughs> don't give the guy any fuel. He doesn't need me I want, I want locker room talk. Hey, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> oh, so yeah, there you go. There it is. And he kisses you on the cheek. <laughs> nah, I'm... Good luck, bro. Thank you. Good luck to you, man. <laughs> oh, oh so the crowd goes wild. Good guy. We'll see. We'll, we'll handle all the field.